Hey y'all, so I'm just feeling like doing a love reading with this energy. I've got some energy here. I feel like I'm opening. I'm opening all types of doors right now for this energy. Because there's a love here. Somebody that I feel like is on so many different levels. Like, you know, this person in the 3D world, you know, this person in the spirit realm. I regret lying to you. Someone regrets lying to you. They lied to you about something. And they regret it. It might be coming back up to bite them in some way. Or maybe like the truth would have made everything work out perfectly and smoothly. But now they're dealing with some things like some obstacles that came about because of this lying. I feel like they have to walk around on their tiptoes. The tip of their toes because of this lying. And your truth. You being truthful and honest. Might have made things a little inconvenient and difficult or challenging, but you got through it and now you're stronger and you still have honesty. But this person lying, they're stuck in their lies. I don't want to tap too much into their energy because judging, you'll be judging. You'll end up in the same boat as them, but I feel like they are suffering. I left when I saw you with someone. So someone you were tapped into their frequency or they were tapped into you. And things were going really well. Like you two were basically hitting it off. Things were making so much sense. And then they got jealous because you're connected to source and they just wanted you to be connected to them. They just wanted like it just to be you and you two against the world. But yeah, you just never leave that door open to somebody trying to block you away from God or separate you from God. Someone's trying to separate you from the light and you just never... Give people the opportunity to do that. That's what they were trying to do. They want to separate you from the light because they feel like they rule the darkness. But you just never got to that point of even seeing them act a fool. I feel you even though we are apart. So this person still feels like they're tapped in. And that's probably why if you contact them or you see them in some way, maybe on social media, they look like they're still like talking to you. Like they're, they, they are full on in conversation with you, but you haven't seen them in years because they've made you their, their God. They're talking to you and praying to you 24 seven, uh, trying to explain something. It says, I want you. Yeah. They definitely desire you in their life, but I feel like it's the lying. That's what they're trying to explain this untruth they're trying to make excuses for something something that you don't tolerate and you possibly rejected them because of this like you cut them off because of this and now they're trying to say well this is the reason why and they're trying to build a case for themselves but you already cut them off and you you probably don't even hear what they're saying it probably sounds like gibberish because this is kind of coming off like you don't even give them the time of day. But they're lost. I will wait for a sign from you. If you give this person any type of communication, they're going to know. Because they've got their ears perked and they're listening, hoping that you will give them some type of clue that you still care but what, what would it be if you give them a clue? It's going to be that you care about these lies and schemes. Like, because they're never going to change. They're just hoping you come over to the dark side with them. And they can't stand the light. They can't tolerate the light. Just like you can't tolerate the dark. So it's never going to happen. And also, it seems like them wanting you and craving you is their only chance in life. That's That's all they've got to live for. Is the the uh, the hope? Oh, okay, so that's what's keeping them busy. That's what's keeping their mind active. Otherwise, they go brain dead without you thinking about you. Keeps their mind moving. You have really become their source. Someone's using you like a muse. 
Okay, you have the butterfly. Something about the butterfly effect. Like it was a small thing you did that 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 turned this person on and gave them some kind of a light to cling to. And they're expanding this light and making it their whole entire world. You have evolving and growing next phase, healing inner child, releasing the past. You got to release this person because they're draining you or trying to. They're draining your source in some way. Um, whether you're aware of it or not, they're feeding off of you. They're feeding off of your energy. Sunglasses. Yeah, I feel like you're not watching. You're not looking at them. Um, but they're pretending that you are. They're pretending like you're stalking them. And, and, and it's feet and their delusions. There's nothing you can do about that. But then you have signs of love. So this is what they're waiting for. A sign that you love them in some way. But I feel like they're so delusional that they're making up signs. Blowing kisses. Like they're saying you're blowing kisses or they're blowing kisses at you. And you, you may have unconditional love and that's what they're getting. That's the first thing I thought when I saw signs of love. Like you're just a loving person. And they're going to be reading into your energy no matter what you do. Any little sound or move you make could, is something that they they want to say that is towards them. And that's the next phase that you guys are moving into, the giving and receiving. They want a relationship with you. They want you to feed off of them. But do they have anything positive? There's so much passion here. Okay, but it seems like it's a sexual thing with them. Is there anything more than sex? They want you to feed off of them. But I feel like what, what they have to offer is not enough for you. More on this relationship. Please make it make sense. You have yin yang. And this is obstacles. Okay, so yin yang and obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. I feel like we said something about obstacles here. Yes, yeah, there are lies and regret that they regret that's causing blockages in this relationship. It's the lies. I feel like you just can't tolerate it. They make stuff up. They're delusional, but it's like it's not for the better. They have twin flame contains an aspect of each other's character within themselves, like the yin yang symbol. So, and this is clarifying your passion and the fact that they want you to feed off of them the way that they're feeding off of you. But just like this light and dark, not like penalizing the darkness because God created light and dark. But I feel like they want to be this dark energy in your life and they want you to feed off of them. Like, I don't know, maybe there's something you can get down with. But they definitely want it to be a give and a take. They don't want to just be taking from you the way they are. They're saying like, take something from me as well. But then you have watch your back because what they have to offer is tricks and schemes, tricks and schemes and lies that you cannot stand on. Like it's just supposed to get you tangled up. It's supposed to make you sick. It's supposed to make you basically take on their regretful feelings. So you're wearing sunglasses for a reason. You're blocking this person out. And whatever this butterfly effect is that's happening, for some reason, it's coming up in this reading. Like, maybe this is something you're resonating with. So you have call. Someone is calling you, hearing from you. I feel like it's, it, it's happening right now in this reading. Like, this is this is them reaching out to you. They want you to come back and watch them. So this could be someone on social media, but also like they really crave your attention. Um, something shocking has happened, a sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany. Someone coming towards you, traveling towards you. And something that's could be that could be very grounding for you. I feel like the shocking thing could be maybe this is a celebrity and they're going to reach out to you in some way. Like you get a like or a comment or an email from them. 
but it's going to be so casual because they know how important they are and they kind of want that weight to be a burden to you. Like they don't have to say much, but they really want you to be obsessed with them because that's the energy they feed off of. And if you don't feed off of their negativity anymore, then they don't have anything to feed off of you. They're really trying to keep this relationship going. From their side, what's going on with them? Eight of Swords. They feel trapped. And also, like, they have to be, they have to seek attention whether people watch them or not. Which is kind of sad. Like, they have to watch themselves and focus on themselves um, and when other people watch them, it helps, it makes it easier. Like that, that added pressure makes it easier for them to focus on themselves. But if no one's watching them, then they're like, well, where is everybody? And that suddenly takes their attention away from themselves. So that's what I feel like they're trying. That's why they're reaching out to you. So they can ignore you. Basically they call you so you can call them back and they ignore. And then they can have that missed call forever in their phone or whatever. It's just. It's narcissistic the way they're acting like the whole world is after them, but it's not. It's really not. If this is a celebrity, I feel like it's someone who's losing. They're losing. I don't want to get into the negativity, but I feel like you already know what's going on. Then you have the last judgment because they're negative and toxic. I'm going to get off of this. They built up this community based on negativity and so now they're surrounded by negativity it's just that's what they did for themselves they manifested that they chose to die on a cross and now they're trying to get somebody to nail them to it because they can't hang themselves Ooh, this is getting too much it's getting too dark i'm gonna move away from this five of pentacles that's precisely what this card is moving away look this person is walking away from the situation it's too dark and heavy They've got some major demons they need to get rid of. They need to call on a magician to come and do an exorcism on them. But this is this is not your job. I feel like they're calling on you simply to add to their viewership. They just want more attention. It's getting a little meta here. But it's just their job to do that. It's the job they chose because they're dark and evil and sinister. They're saying, I miss you. So you're definitely feeling someone cool on your energy, but it's, it's a trap. And the thing about them is this is someone you might have connected with. So I feel like this reading, however it resonates with you, I feel like for some of y'all, you could have had a relationship with this person. Even if it was an online relationship, like they were mentioning your names in their videos, um, stuff like that. I'm trying to think of other ways this could be happening, but that's what I feel like. They put the spotlight on you because they wanted you to, they wanted to feed off of your energy. And this is a lesson you had to learn, like dust off their energy, dust them off, use your intuition. They definitely come in, they're coming in for a second chance, but they were in a like mind, a like mindset. All right. So there's a lot of truth here to chew on. Let me know if any of that resonates. I'm going to call it quits for now. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like whoever this person is, they've been lying to you and they want you to now kind of lie with them. Like for, you might've believed them at some point, but now they want you to, now that you've realized that they're a liar, they want you to be part of their team. Like lie with me. We can feed off of each other's lies. And that's that yin yang energy that's coming up, but they're just going to pull you over to the darkness and then you'll see why they're so thirsty acting because you'll be just as thirsty as they are. Like they're trying to turn you into a zombie by biting you or just like tainting your energy in some way. Stay away from this person. That's the lesson you're going to learn. If you're not learning now that people who crave your attention and they're trying to pull you over to their side are just going to make you feel unseen and make you feel like you need more attention. And it's like a pyramid scheme. But anyway, that's the energy I have for this. Let me know if it resonates in any way. And I will see you in the next one.